So I am Chris Renee, um, and these are just personal and we did a little group consensus strategies for taking the pediatric cardiology board exam. So our objectives are that we are going to explore strategies to optimize your board performance um, exam, on the exam, reflect on test taking styles that are gonna work best for you, and how to make adaptations when you're taking the real test in real time, and then a few sample questions. Thanks, Chris, uh, and uh, thanks again for having us. Uh, uh, one of the more important aspects of taking any test is actually first knowing how you learn and how you approach questions, and it's actually very personal, very individual. So first of all, I would like to just to think for a second to reflect about how you learn, how you read questions, what's your usual approach to things, because many of us are largely visual, but a good number of us may be auditory, but in general, you're a pediatric cardiologist. You probably are both, uh, one of them being dominant. The reason why I'm putting that there is when we consider um, studying for the test, uh, you may wanna use flashcards if you're very visual, but also you may wanna repeat the flashcards loudly if you are auditory, and that sounds kind of boring and unentertaining, but uh, it, it should certainly capitalize on how your learning style is. I think that uh, a session about how to take a test uh, could go on very briefly. <laughs> and uh, I prefer to think of it in this, uh, in this way. Uh, all of you have been taking in training exams. Uh, those in training exams uh, uh, hopefully have been discussed every year with your program director so you know which areas you do better at. You probably have seen, if you had a little bit of time between all your calls, um, uh, what areas you did better at. I don't think as a general rule, although there's no real data in pediatric cardiology about what is the cutoff, sort of what, what you need to um, make it through the boards, I think that one would say if you're being scoring 70s in the training exam, you're likely to do well. But the majority of people are not in this zone as the, the average third year graduates with a 62, 66. Uh, so uh, the majority of people will not be there, but if you are, one of those people who actually scored high, then you should feel good. You should feel good. You should get some points for confidence because you actually know the content and also know how to take the test. But the training exam is a little bit different than what the board exam will be. But if, you, if you're not one of those people who score high, and I would say that I fell into one of those, uh, that wasn't a high score of the training exam, um, then maybe a method will be helpful. And we